don't want to talk about their mental health on TV, but Rob has bravely agreed to tell his story on our show. Like dyslexia, but for numbers, and that can make her finances that much more difficult. We could talk for a lot longer, but that's almost all we've got time for. Susanna Reid is here after the break with a special tonight on children's mental health. And one of the things she mentions is how 30% of children are worried about their family's finance. Martin, anonymised everyone who's got in touch with us tonight. So let's go to the first one. This is from Mick, just to kick us off. Now, he says, do you need proof of your mental health to approach the bank for extra help? Or is it as simple as saying, I'm suffering? that help is out there. I've got a tweet from Paul and he asked, it's good to know that when my mental health put me out of work, I asked my bank to freeze the interest and back with more from our guests, but also what to do if you're struggling to pay your utility bills, plus more of your questions. See you then. Lots coming in, Martin, as you'd expect. I've got this from Ben. He says, I have a serious gambling problem. I've racked... Well, let me try and get for certain benefits.